Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through the Glam Bag X with Ipsy. So if you would like to see what I got in my box, keep watching. know about Ipsy. Ipsy is a monthly subscription that you can sign up for and there is three bags. There is the Ipsy uh, bag which is the $12. Um, you get the little makeup bag and a few little uh, testers try, try, you know, try before you buy things in that one. Then there is the Ipsy glam bag uh, Plus, that is the one that I usually get. And then there is the big Ipsy that was $50. So, I've been getting the $25 Ipsy. And uh, now they have made the Ipsy Glam Bag X to replace the Glam Bag Plus. And on the, it, it's a quarterly. Let's see. So, Ipsy Glam Bag X is now quarterly. So, on the months that I do not get the Ipsy Glam Bag X, my bag will still be $25. Um, but on the months that I get the Ipsy Glam Bag X, it will be $50. And let me tell you something. It's worth it. It's worth it. So, if you want to see what all I got in my box, I need you to go grab you a drink and a snack because this is going to be a little bit of a long one because we're going to go through this box. We're going to do a full try on. We're going to do this gorgeous look and um, see what all we got. So let's get started. And we are going to dip into it. I haven't even looked in it yet. So, oh gosh. Gosh, so this is what she looks like, and it says Ipsy Glam Bag X, curated by Patrick Ta. Reach your brow goals. Oh, it, it, it says issue number one, February. But anyway, it goes in here to tell you expert artistry. Patrick Ta is putting the power of makeup in your hands. And then I'm not going to go through and read all this, but I'm going to keep this uh, because this is my first Patrick Ta stuff. Um, let me just look through it and see. Oh, so it tells you about your box and how it was curated. And it does have the MSRP. So we're going to go through this. Yes, Ipsy, way to go. Putting the amount on the... Oh, I like that. And I really like this foundation. It looks good on my face. Okay. So the first thing I see, Pat McGrath Labs. I got a Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, MSRP, $30. Whoa. All right, we're going to open her up. It comes in a little uh, sealed package like this. Ooh, that's a nice. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been opening new mascaras on my channel right yet, but I will for the sake of this video. The MSRP is $30, this cult favorite mascara from world-renowned makeup artist Pat McGrath has a flexible, buildable formula that allows you to go from soft and fluttery to bold and thick, making it the ultimate pro artist secret. 
customizable lashes with zero clumps or flakes. And then Patrick gives you a tip on how to use the mascara. This is the wand. All right, Complex Culture. I have two things here from Complex Culture. The glowing skin and sculpted features Patrick creates on his clients starts with the right prep, specifically a soothing and sculpting face massage using the Sonic Powered Tool. Oh my gosh, I got this. Um, just glide it over your skin to help reduce puffiness, relieve tension, and sculpt your features. MSRP $58. Guys, look at that. And I love anything I've tried from Complex Culture, so I am excited. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can see where that would be relaxing with face oil. Is it powered? No. It's just a tool, but nice. Look at the prettiness. Ooh, looks like a razor, which I don't shave my face, but you know. Okay, well that was nice. I will be using this. All right, and then it says, um, Patrick is famous for creating super saturated lips, so he had to include his matte liquid lipstick from About Face, a new brand for everyone, everywhere create everywhere created by Halsley. It's ultra pigmented and long lasting yet totally lightweight. I haven't even heard of this yet, but mine's open. So we're going to check that out and see if it happened in transit or it's a nice little, yeah, it's not been open. Uh, MSRP is $22. So I am going to swatch that for you. And that is the color right there, the pink, never mind the black on my hand. I was testing something before I started. Nice little, I can't wait to see what that feels like. And then the next thing ah, is the Huda, is the Huda Booty. The Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette. MSRP, $65. I'm really excited to get a Huda palette. Oh, oh gosh, she is so pretty. Look at that. And um, with 18 trendy shades in four different finishes, this ultra versatile collection of buttery shadows can be used to create pro quality looks that are soft and romantic or bold and glam. Ooh, how pretty so it comes with one of these just like her 3d um, highlighting palette she's got one of those in that oh this is so pretty and this is the one I used when Susan came up so I'm excited to get this because I really wanted it did y'all able to see I don't know if I was in the right place I've got a new stand for my phone oh these are pretty I'm so excited we're gonna work in that all right this is a great great box ipsy I'm super excited um, and then uh, the next thing is the Patrick Ta Beauty monochrome moment velvet blush $32 holy cow Flush Fresh Lit from Within Skin is a Patrick Ta signature. Get the look in real life with a few sweeps of this blush across your cheeks and lids. It doubles as a shadow. The pigments are infused with light reflecting mica for a luminous glow. The box is gorgeous. Look at this box. Oh my gosh. Yes. I like that color. And it looks like it'll go with a lot of the colors in that palette. 
Thank you, Patrick, for curating my box. It does have a mirror. I think this is something I picked. The Yensa Beauty Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Eye Cream. MSRP, $48, and I love Yensa Beauty. I have something from Ipsy uh, once before, and it's fabulous. So this is the cream. So that was my choice. I have another box from Complex Culture. I must have had an add-on or something. Oh, I got another Complex Culture brush. These brushes are so nice. I have this, I picked this brush, I remember that. I have this bronzer brush and I love it. Oh, it's foundation. So this is nice because whenever I have a dirty foundation brush, I can use this one. So yeah, absolutely, positively flipping amazing box Ipsy, I have to give you a hand. You really did it. Oh my God. This is awesome. So I'm going to prime my lids and we're going to use that blush. We're going to use the palette and the lipstick and I will use the mascara with you guys and let's get this on. Okay guys, now I went ahead and did this eye so we wouldn't be on here forever because this is going to be a long video unboxing trial. Um, these are the shimmers out of the palette. They are blinding, just blinding. Look, my light is just like, they're so bright. I love this palette. It is so pretty. So the first color I started out with, and I'm going to swatch them on this other hand, is Demure. And it's a real pretty, like, between an apricot and a pink mixed together. Whatever color that is. It's gorgeous. So what I did is I put that in my crease. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same eye look since it's just a try on. And it's not a brand new release, so we're just gonna try it on. So I'm gonna dust that here in my crease. Okay, and once I dusted that through, I took my Sigma E35 and just blended through the crease. And this is Coco. That shade is so nice. And I took that over top of Demure. Not over top, but right below. Just kind of put it here in the outer corner, outer third. Build that, run it through my crease midway. Uh-oh, bless you, Mama. Bless him, Mommy. Him sneezed. Is you okay, Bubba? Is you okay? I need to buy him a chair so he can sit beside me while I do makeup. Then I ran my blending crease brush through my crease and blended that color in. Oh, great. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. And then I took just a little bit of black truffle, that's the black. I could have swatched it better, but I, I didn't want it sticking to my fingers. And I went in with this little bitty, um, Precision Firm Blender, and I just barely, now I'm telling you, I just barely touched, just, just like that. Look at that. Just barely. So I can just tap a little bit right here, because I don't want a lot, just to deepen up that outer third. Do it again, do it again. And then I'm going to dip back into Coco, this one right here, just in the tip, just the tip, put the tip in it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to start blending. Just do it a little bit. Then I went in with, I, I, I went in with Rose Gold first. I hadn't swatched them yet to see what they look like. So I went in with Rose Gold and that is 
that one. Then I went in with pink diamond. So I'm gonna go in with rose gold and I put it right here. And I was like, oh, I wanted it a little bit pink. So then I went in with pink diamond. These are so stunning. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And they're so soft. Okay, and then I took my little AOA brush and I dipped it into Bubbly and that's the um, the shade right here. And I went right here in the inner corner. I do have to go back into um, Demure, that first shade we started off with over here and go up here just a little bit and bring that back. Now we're going to go in with the Pat McGrath um, Fetish Eyes Mascara. I'm going to curl these lashes. I'm going to put a coat of this on. Oh my gosh. Please don't let me love it. Please don't let me love it. Please don't let me love it. Because I can't afford it. I can't afford it. <laughs> I know I'm going to love it. I know I'm going to love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, I do have very long lashes, but this mascara, I can already see it. I cannot afford this mascara. Poor Brian. I'm going to have to quit YouTube. I'm just gonna stick to the drug cheaper shit. Oh my god, this mascara, guys. Do you see this? I mean, do you see it? Do you see it? What the hell? Okay. Wow. I don't even need lashes. Patrick Ta blush on these cheeks, people. Well, I kind of went with this eye look because of this blush, so I wanted to keep it to where it would match. Nice, 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 nice. Now we are going to go in with the um, Hosley. What's it called? Paint it lip color, and this, oh, I can't read it. Paint on, and it's nice. It does have like a little bit of a medicated taste to it. This color on right here, underneath the under eye, not much. We did the Huda uh, Remastered Gold. We did the Patrick Ta Blush. Um, we did the fetish um, mascara, which, uh, oh my gosh, um, I don't think I put a highlighter on. Well, I used this one. It's fine. Um, but tell me what you think of this box, guys. I'm like, oh, please, Ipsy, let every box that we get for the Glam X be nice like this. You would get so much more business if all the boxes were this nice. I really believe, I, I believe, I would be subscribing, 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 subscribing. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. What was your most favorite thing that I got? Um, what did you like the least? And I will use this stuff with you, that roller thing. I'll do a get ready with me and we'll use that before, you know, I put on my makeup. If y'all are interested in that, let me know down in the comments. Um, do you have the Huda Beauty Remastered? If not, do you like it? Do you want it? Would you like to get a Glam Bag X? If you would, please 
click the description or read more below and I have a link there that you can click. I do not make any money off of it, but I do get points to buy things in the future. Um, and you can sign up for Ipsy and become an Ipster. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.